Hi friends, this is Ananjan and I have been mixing one song sung by Devurshi Bhattacharjo and uh, now this is the video where I will be showing you the processing of the lead instrument and the voices and I have done three more videos on this before so before starting please um, subscribe my youtube channel and like this video and share this video on your timeline with your friends and if you want to learn uh, sound engineering you can call 9831067164 and also you can log on to www.ananjanstudio.com and there is a, a lot of um, a lot of services there you can also join my youtube community through the join button in the youtube channel so that you can master two tracks per month uh, with analog processors if you are a home studio production or producer uh, then um, there are a lot of music production services out there and uh, we are starting out a live sound course from july we're starting and uh, yeah so th that's it and let's start with our video so here we have got the harmonium which is recorded in a lot of uh, tracks I'll try to use another uh, microphone for my voice. Sometimes the breath sound is pretty bad. I'll see what I can do. So the harmonium is basically playing three harmonies and harmonium is playing harmonies. It's interesting. And it's basically going through a delay here, which is, yeah, so. Okay, so that's not the delay actually, that's basically another track which is being played here. So, you heard the lead, right? So, here what we have got is two harmonium tracks playing the same stuff. Now here, in this track we have added some delay, which is the 1 8 delay. And the 1 8 delay is for sure. Okay, this is a Valhalla delay. So, and of course I've added some compressor to that. And yeah, so then we are having all the harmoniums here. Now here, there is the syncopation part. Where the Saroj and the harmonium are playing the same thing. But before I go to the harmonium, I'll show you how I have processed the harmonium with a SSL bus compressor two SSL bus compressors one is the legacy and one is not the legacy and there is the stereo enhancer so so here I forgot to solo it So as the Sarod is playing the main lead, that's why here I didn't give any reverb to the harmonium, so it's playing raw. It's all here. Uh, without any kind of reverb delay and so the processing is like this and I am very sure that I have done some EQ in the harmonium tracks itself so here there are not any kind of EQs here but here I have done some EQs and also some EQs here and yeah not much some EQs because the harmonium sounds pretty much the same and it's basically giving the Kawali touch to the song the harmonium is not so important here because the important instrument is for sure the Sarod just uh, close the folders so that everything looks neat here so in the Sarod there's a lot of automation going on 
सो इन द सरोद वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ सो लेट्स सो इन द सरोद हेयर बेसिकली वी हैव डन इज गिव इन अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग हेयर सो फर्स्टली दिस वन इज हैविंग So, firstly, it is having a Neve preamp, and then it is going to a uh, SSL bus compressor, which is having pretty much good compression, and then a Fafil EQ, which is a pretty much an Indian string instrument processing. So. see what i have done here is basically see stri indian string instruments are pretty soft so we need uh, a lot of dynamic range so so the age delay is having just a little bit of uh, what is that a feedback and there is a r vox and there is another stereo enhancer which is spreading the delay apart and so the delay is basically going to sorry so the delay is basically going to another reverb so the delay sounds so what's going on is basically the sarod is going to a reverb which is the lead reverb and it is going to this delay tracks and this delay is again going to another reverb so this is how the sarod reverb delay is set it that's how it is so the preamp the compressor the fab filter eq and then it is going to another delay which is little bit compressed with the r vox and then of course the it is also gone to another reverb which is another lead reverb was the h reverb right yeah so then that's for the sarod setting now the sarod is also going through a lot of automations here which is the volume automation here you can see it here and then here it has gotten some uh, pan automation so it's playing it is like so it basically plays like this that was the stuff and then whenever the sarod has come down in volume i have pushed it up little bit a little bit in the volume section and here we have some sarod uh, parallel lines played by the sarod here and it's electric sarod by the way if you have not noticed it so this is um uh This this sarod is basically playing in two parts. So one, so with the sarod, there is basically another sarod which is playing in the low section. So that is panned left, and this is panned right. with that there is another part playing in this portion which is another so this is how it is designed here and you know the guitar leads are going on so that's why i have panned the the sarod as well so that it's not clashing with the guitar leads as well and there is another huge thing going on in this sarod so here what i have done is uh
uh, in this sarod what i have done is i have given a sarod delay which was not there because it's been going to another sarod delay which is this one right the sarod delay i was talking about Now this sarod is having delays right so it's having basic delays there but what i have done is that to see just listen to this part is um that part i have basically octaved it up with 12 semitones and i given the delay uh, the delay treatment to that part only so it's sounding like so it's sounding like a like a whistle i guess so if you if you see in the mix is what this part is doing and the first is our section and this one has got Now this guy is basically playing the lower octave sort of so So this is basically con- uh, complementing it with the low octave so it's See the the low octave was not that Uh, audible right so now with the r bass what it does it's pretty pretty nice what it does even i can throw it a little more a lot, lot, lot of work for the sarod and uh, so uh, well we can do the voice in the next video because the sarod was pretty elaborated so and i think my battery of my camera is getting low so let's change the battery and come back to you with my next video so um what i'll do is i'll do the voice video in the next next part so see you then So subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and we'll see you in the next video with the voices and if you want to learn sound engineering please call my studio they will help you with everything you can join my YouTube channel and all the all the best to you and if you want to learn sound engineering don't learn it from YouTube learn it from a, a professional teacher okay thank you so much see you in the next video thanks